When I was trying to decide what restaurant and recipe I wanted to feature for this week's video, I realized that I've only recreated one other recipe from the Bonefish Grill, which was their Bang Bang Shrimp Tacos. And I don't know why, because the Bonefish Grill is an enormously popular restaurant. And in fact, I used to work for several years with their now corporate executive chef, Mr. Justin Fields. And Justin is a very cool cat with the most righteous music playlists I've ever heard. Hey Justin. And so in this video today, I'm going to teach you how to recreate one of the most popular items on their dinner menu, the Cod Imperial. Welcome to Restaurant Recipe Recreations, everybody, a channel dedicated to teaching you how to create your favorite signature recipes from the most popular restaurants. So let me tell you a little bit about what the Cod Imperial is at the Bonefish Grill. It's a sauteed piece of fresh cod that's then topped with a cheese and seafood mixture made with scallops, shrimp, crab, parmesan, and mozzarella cheeses. It's then quickly baked in the oven and finished with a lemon caper butter. <laughs> yeah. And because there's a lot going on in this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. And I'll also share with you in this video how you can follow along with the recipe and the instructions. What I have here in this bowl is one full stick of unsalted butter that is room temperature, to that, I'm going to add the zest of a half of a lemon. We use the zest from half the lemon, but we're going to use the juice of this entire lemon. Now add in two tablespoons of jarred capers, otherwise known as non pareil, two cranks of cracked black pepper, and one small pinch of salt. And now just gently stir these ingredients together and set it off to the side, but don't refrigerate it because you do want it to remain room temperature. So moving on to the seafood mixture, I mentioned that I have scallops, shrimp, and crab. This is a half of a pound of bay scallops, a half of a pound of small shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. We're going to use a half of a pound of this as well. Using a clean paper towel, just make sure that you dry your bay scallops very, very well. And then you wanna give these just kind of a rough chop. Don't make them too small, don't mince them, but just kind of cut them down by about half. And then just do the exact same thing with the small shrimp. Using a paper towel, just make sure that they're nice and dried off. And if yours have not yet been peeled and deveined, of course you wanna start by doing that first. And even remove the tails, we don't want any shells. And then just kind of give them a rough chop. This is a 16 ounce can of pasteurized crab, but we only need a half of a pound. You wanna make sure that you sort of sift through the crab meat. First of all, you're kind of gently breaking it up with your fingers a little bit, but the most important thing that you're looking for is any shell or cartilage that might have snuck in in the canning process. And of course, if you find any of that, discard it. Okay, now that we have all of our seafood prepared, let's go ahead and finish the imperial mix. In a nonstick saute pan and on a medium heat, add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Move the oil around to coat the bottom of the pan. Once the oil begins to shimmer, add the half a pound of shrimp and your half a pound of scallops. Add one tablespoon of minced white onion and one teaspoon of minced garlic. Saute the shrimp, scallops, onion, and garlic for about a minute and a half until the shrimp turns completely pink. The onions become translucent, but do not allow the garlic to brown. Now transfer this mixture to a plate and place it in the refrigerator until it completely cools for about one hour. So I've got my half a pound of the pasteurized crab meat. I have a half of a cup of mayonnaise. What kind of mayonnaise? <laughs> Duke's mayonnaise. I love me some Duke's, y'all. I'm sorry. I know not everybody agrees with me, but you know, whatever. I'm used to it. All right, half a cup of mayonnaise, a half of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, a half of a cup of freshly grated mozzarella cheese, one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a half of a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half of a teaspoon of Coleman's dry mustard, one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one beaten egg. And finally, a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt. And then just give that a good mix. I have here four five ounce pieces of fresh cod with the skin still on them. Skin side down, you're going to lightly season the cod with a little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper, and then lightly dust the cod with all-purpose flour. Spread the flour, salt, and pepper mixture over the cod. Using a nonstick pan, place a quarter of an inch of extra virgin olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Working two at a time, you want to lightly saute your cod 
skin side up. Once the cod has sauteed for one minute, you want to carefully remove it from the pan. You're going to flip it over and place it on a parchment lined cookie sheet. And then repeat the process with your other two pieces of cod. So again, you're sauteing the cod skin side up for about one minute. Do not move the cod around in the pan, but once the cod has sauteed for one minute, you want to carefully remove it from the pan, transfer it to a parchment lined cookie sheet, and flip it over. All right, let's put all of this deliciousness together, shall we? I've got my scallop, shrimp, and onion mixture that's been cooling in the refrigerator. And in this bowl, I've got the crab and the cheese mixture. So now that the shrimp and the scallops have cooled, just go ahead and put those into the crab mixture and then just give that a really, really good mix. Preheat your oven broiler and then just taking the seafood and cheese mixture, generously top each piece of the cod. I have in this bowl right here some panko breadcrumb and then just sprinkle the panko breadcrumb over each piece of the cod, which is essentially going, you know, over the stuffing, of course. And then the last thing that you wanna do before you pop it in the broiler is taking your lemon caper butter, just sort of spoon it over the top. I would say probably about a tablespoon each. And now place this under the broiler for about three minutes. And when we come back, I'll share with you where you can find the full recipe and instructions. You know that it's ready to take out from underneath the broiler when you can see that the cheese has started to slightly melt, it's getting a little bit bubbly, and then the panko breadcrumb on top is slightly browned. I'm serving mine up with a little asparagus, as you can see. This makes an amazing meal. I'm about to have my moment of truth. I'm gonna take a second here and just speak directly to Justin. Justin, if you're the executive corporate chef that created this, I am forever indebted to you. All right, my friends. So the big announcement that I've sort of alluded to a couple of times throughout this video is that the much anticipated and long awaited channel website has launched. And so I'm happy to say, and for the first time ever, that you can find all of the recipe ingredients and instructions at restaurantrecipe-recreations.com. And so a very heartfelt thank you goes out to my web designers, Nicole and Eric at Fatal Paradox. Thank you for all of your hard work and thank you for putting together such a beautiful website. Let me know in the comments section if you have a chance to hop on over to restaurantrecipe-recreations.com and let me know what you think of the new website. And until I see you all again, everybody, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all.